Denmark has officially entered into an agreement to purchase four MQ-9B Sky Guardian drones from General Atomics Aeronautical Systems via NATO Support and Procurement Agency, NSPA. The acquisition was initiated by the Danish Defense Acquisition and Logistics Organization, FMI, and encompasses more than just the unmanned aircraft, it includes ground control infrastructure, operator training, maintenance services, and a suite of mission-critical equipment. The delivery timeline targets 2028 to 2029. Financial backing comes from the Accelerations Fund and, and previously established political agreements. The deal is aimed at reinforcing Denmark's reconnaissance capabilities, particularly over its Arctic territories and the North Atlantic Corridor, while simultaneously fulfilling NATO-aligned security obligations. These drones, known for their extensive range and endurance, are a strategic tool in Denmark's evolving defense posture. Built for medium altitude, long endurance operations, the MQ 9B Sky Guardian can remain airborne for over 40 continuous hours. Its 24 meter wingspan and nearly 12 meter fuselage give it the silhouette of a small manned aircraft, though it functions entirely without an onboard pilot. With cutting edge surveillance systems such as the Lynx multi mode radar and electro optical slash infrared sensors, the drone is optimized for missions requiring real time intelligence and wide area monitoring. It also incorporates advanced features like automatic takeoff slash landing and general atomics proprietary detect and avoid system. Its modular architecture allows for future upgrades, including electronic warfare and maritime surveillance adaptations. Integration into both domestic and international airspace is a cornerstone of the platform's design. Complying with NATO STANAG 4671 and other civil aviation standards, the MQ-9B can interact safely with commercial air traffic systems thanks to its certifiable control stations and full-spectrum situational awareness tools. It's the first UAV in its class conceived to meet these stringent aviation requirements, earning operational status in several NATO countries including the UK, Belgium, and Canada. Colonel Klaus Kvist of FMI described the drone's integration into Danish service as a technically demanding endeavor. Acquiring the aircraft through NATO's cooperative framework allows Denmark to bypass redundant development cycles and tap into existing interoperability protocols. This strategy aligns with broader NATO goals to streamline defense logistics and training across member states. The drone's adaptability for Arctic missions, such as cold weather communications and engine icing protection, will be applied to Denmark's fleet to support northern operations. The Sky Guardians will perform a variety of missions, both military and civilian. Apart from reconnaissance and defense roles, they'll contribute to environmental observation, SAR, search and rescue, and national intelligence efforts. Their endurance and range are ideally suited for monitoring Greenland skies and the surrounding maritime regions. These vast, often inhospitable zones are increasingly significant due to shifting climate patterns, a growing geopolitical focus on the Arctic, and Denmark's stewardship over Greenland and the Faroe Islands. Before deployment, Danish crews will receive training in the United States to build proficiency in drone operations and technical maintenance. This initiative includes structured training modules and logistical support plans to ensure smooth integration and effective operations upon delivery. Once active, the drones will support Denmark's strategic surveillance frameworks and provide critical intelligence during both peacetime and emergency scenarios. The purchase follows growing concerns in Europe over the continent's lagging development of indigenous drone systems. Danish Defence Minister Trolls Lund Poulsen emphasized the importance of establishing European defence autonomy and highlighted the MQ-9B acquisition as a proactive step toward strengthening both Denmark's and Europe's military resilience. Defence Chief Michael Wiggers Heildgard underscored the urgency of the programme, citing it as a crucial driver of national defence modernization. As Europe's homegrown Eurodrone project faces delays, Denmark's pivot to an operationally ready system reflects a pragmatic approach to evolving security challenges. Denmark's military focus on the Arctic and North Atlantic is shaped by its governance of Greenland and the Faroe Islands and its contributions to NATO's northern defense framework. The High North has seen rising strategic attention due to increased Russian naval and aerial activities, growing interest in subsea infrastructure, and the anticipated emergence of Arctic shipping corridors. The Kingdom's control over the GUK Gap, 
a vital choke point for monitoring Russian naval movement, adds further urgency to strengthening aerial surveillance in the region. The MQ-9B's ability to conduct uninterrupted ISR operations across expansive and remote areas directly supports NATO's goal of persistent maritime and air domain awareness. As geopolitical competition intensifies and Arctic accessibility increases, these drones offer Denmark and its allies a critical edge in early warning, deterrence, and situational awareness. By feeding real-time data to national and allied commands, the Sky Guardian fleet will enhance Denmark's security infrastructure and reinforce its standing within NATO's strategic northern flank.